Anthropic and OpenAI released competing flagship coding models within days. Claude Opus 4.5 and OpenAI's Codex Max, each claiming major advances in agentic coding, fewer required tokens, and near autonomous workflows. But real world testing reveals a much more grounded story than the benchmark hype. Opus 4.5 positions itself around deep reasoning, ambiguity handling, and multi step problem solving. It offers a 200,000 context window, 64,000 output, an effort parameter, extended thinking mode, and improved computer use actions. Codex Max emphasizes long horizon project execution with multi window compaction, Windows native training, and tighter CLI and agentic integration. In short, Opus sells depth while Codex sells autonomous scale. Benchmarks frame the competition differently. Opus posts standout numbers, 80.9% SWE Bench Verified and 66% OS World, while Codex Max shows improvements without published specifics. Independent Composio testing, however, is far more illuminating. On two difficult production problems, statistical anomaly detection and distributed alert deduplication, GPT-5 and GPT-5.1 Codex produced working code. Claude variants failed with critical production breaking bugs. Cost differences were stark. Codex produced working solutions for 95 cents, GPT-5, and 76 cents, GPT-5.1, versus Claude's $1.68. Codex was 43% cheaper while actually shipping functional code. Architecturally, Claude excels at system design, documentation, and conceptual rigor. Its multi-layer reasoning clearly understands distributed systems, but it often fails to connect architectural intent to fully integrated working implementations. Codex, by contrast, reliably generates coherent end-to-end -end code that handles edge cases with minimal cleanup. But let me tell you. Let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me tell you something about real-world development velocity. Simon Willison tested Opus 4.5 on a live SQLite utils refactor and made strong progress. 20 commits, 39 changed files, 2,000 additions. When his preview expired, he switched back to Sonnet and maintained the same pace. His conclusion? Production coding is a poor way to measure model capability. That honest reflection undermines the benchmark narrative for both vendors. Pricing complicates strategy. Opus 4.5 is far cheaper than before, $5 per $25 per million tokens, but still pricier than GPT 5.1, $1.25 per $10. Codex Max's API pricing is not yet disclosed, limiting planning for serious adopters. Efficiency claims from both sides look good on paper, but Composio's testing shows Codex already delivers cheaper working code today. Ultimately, Opus designs excellent systems. Codex implements them. For production features requiring integrated code, Codex Max is the better cost-performance choice. For architectural clarity and documentation, Opus 4.5 leads. The most effective workflow may simply be, let Opus design, let Codex build. Hey, Mark here. <clears throat> okay, look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might roast next week. That would be awkward. If this review helped you out or saved you from wasting money, here's how you can support what we're doing. First, I've put the link to this product in the description. If you buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second, there's another link down there that goes straight to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it and use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or restocking on toilet paper. A tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there.